Hey everybody. Just a quick look at the hives after the storm. <laughs> um, I think we got to a wind chill of negative 25. So it was pretty cold. But I didn't get a picture before the storm of my lovely saran wrap job there. It's one of the big rolls from Home Depot. The wind was so bad. And you can see the orange, whoa, the orange um, ratchet strap on there holding the boards on. But the wind was so bad that it was just breaking the boards in half. I can't see it, but that one there broke from the top off. So the strand wrap worked pretty well in <laughs> putting the pieces back together, putting them on. Um, you may wonder, why am I not going to uncover their entrances? Well, I don't want them coming out. <laughs> it is zero at the moment, even though we have plenty of sunshine. But that snow acts as a really good insulator. It's still, you know, pretty breathable. And they still have their vents up top with this quilt box. So there's still air going through. They are not completely blocked in there. And with the saran wrap, you know, we made sure we did not block any entrances. And the foam is also not blocking any entrances. So once that snow melts, they will have free access to come out if they want to, but hopefully they won't want to. And hopefully this insulation, well, there's Noodle again, worked and kept everybody at a good temperature in there. Um, and helped them keep their body temperature where it needed to be. And we'll find out once everything melts. But I just wanted to show you what it looked like with my saran wrapping here. <laughs> we'll see if it worked. It was quick. It was easy. It was very last minute. We'll see what happens. We'll see you next time.